Hello there, this is Lata Brouwer and now you are watching Violin Lounge TV where you learn to improve your violin and viola playing with joy. And uh, I've got a question from Marcus and he would like to know um, uh, in which cases your body is suitable or unsuitable for playing the violin or viola. And I've You've seen this question more often from people who are just started to play the violin and are struggling with lots of things uh, and people who are considering uh, playing the violin. Um, so we're going to uh, go into uh, some things but the first thing uh, what is important uh, to know that the doubt if you are suitable for playing the violin or viola is mainly here because there's nobody who can say if you haven't started yet if you're suitable or unsuitable to play the violin except if you don't have uh, limbs or something <laughs> but <laughs> if you have limbs and they're complete sort of then <laughs> and they're functioning also um, and you are mentally able to uh, watch and understand this video, then probably uh, you, you are uh, uh, perfectly capable and suitable to play the violin or viola. But I will uh, go into some, uh, <laughs> some uh, characteristics anyway. Um, well, first, if you compare violin soloists with each other, do you have you found any... Um, uh, um, when you compare them, have you found anything that you really can say, okay, this is the characteristic you have, this is the kind of body or the kind of hands you need to have to play the violin? Well, to be, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't found uh, them. Maybe you can see that they have uh, very trained uh, fingers, that they have kind of... Uh, Yeah, um, muscly fingers, but th that's trainable. I mean, if you look at bodybuilders, uh, then uh, they all look trained because they train all day. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the hands of a violinist look like uh, like capable of playing violin because they have been doing that for uh, for, for a great amount of time. If you if you look at uh, your your gardeners, if you have a gardener, but if you look at a uh, gardener's hands. Uh, then you might say, okay, he has the perfect hands to uh, maintain gardens. But uh, is he born that way? Or uh, is that because he's, he's been maintaining gardens for, for 30 years? So uh, there are, yeah, there are the, 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 the things that you, the similarities that you can find in soloists, you can even wonder, uh, are those uh, things uh, that are trained or are those things that... Um, uh, that, that are born. Uh, my hands, for example, they don't really look similar because my right hand has been bowing for 20 years <laughs> and my left hand has been uh, uh, doing all the kind of fingerings uh, for 20 years. So my hands are uh, completely different. It's like this, uh, the two hands from a different person. I'm completely asymmetric. Uh, 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 physiotherapists are very enthusiastic about me because they uh, find me some kind of uh, <laughs> strange case <laughs> okay so I think there's not really something you can say like you need to have uh, slim fingers or whatever but um, well let's say one thing uh, if you are lean enough um, um, if you are really 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 stiff in your uh, muscles it might be a little bit difficult to play the violin if your muscles are really um, flexible then you might have an advantage but that completely doesn't mean that if you are stiff in your muscles you can't make them loose or train them or uh, play violin anyway so just say watch me <laughs> watch me do it uh, then fine motoric skills of course if you are Um, uh, if, if, if you are uh, fine motoric skills are relatively good, th this is an advantage in, in violin playing. But for example, if you have average motoric skills and you have a great hearing, uh, you can be a very good player uh, too, for example. And if you're average, then, you know, average people can learn to play the violin beautifully. I, I'm convinced of that. 
Uh, then the rotation of the wrist you need for the violin. Well, first, uh, different violinists do this in different ways. So you don't need it to be all exactly parallel to the fingerboard. Some play a little bit like this or a little bit like this. This You need to find a way that is natural for your body. So don't expect your body to be suitable. No, nobody is born to play violin. Um, so you don't... You can question, uh, it's better to question how can I adjust uh, violin playing that it matches my natural way of moving than that you um, yeah, uh, kind of disapprove your body for violin playing. Then the length of your fingers. Well, they say that if your fingers are um, the, uh, the, the same length, then well, nobody has fingers of the same length, but if they are equal and not that, that you have a very long finger and then a very short finger, it's better for violin playing. Um, Then the thickness of your fingers. Well, we see great soloists with uh, thick fingers as well as thin fingers. Uh, so, yeah, I think it doesn't really matter. Even some people think you have to have really slim fingers. But even if your fingers are thick, your intonation can be perhaps more stable. So that's... Uh, and then uh, the shape of your hands. They say that the, 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 the palm of your hands must be very wide so you can easily grasp. But that, that also depends on the flexibility of your fingers and on, on a lot of things. And if you have really, really, really small hands, well, then just take a 7 8 violin instead of a 4 4 violin. And then... Ta-da! <laughs> so, Marcus, uh, probably uh, your body will be perfectly fine, suitable for playing the violin. Don't worry about that. Uh, if you love uh, the violin and if you want to learn to play it, um, then uh, you should just do that and just uh, yeah, just go into it and uh, and see if you are averagely suitable for it or if you're a great talent or uh, what does it matter if you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, and if you can learn a lot, a lot from it. So uh, that's what I. That's the most important uh, thing I wanted to uh, to say in this video. Um, okay, I hope your question is answered. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Do you have questions for me on violin or viola playing? Just post a comment below or send an email to info at violinlounge.com. Do you like this video? Then just click on like. Uh, do you want to see more of these videos? Then just look around at violinlounge.com. And if you like it, you can subscribe to my weekly free easing. Uh, with uh, lots of free, uh, nice free stuff, tutorials and uh, so forth. Uh, I wish for you that you all can express your unique beauty through the violin in your own way. Happy playing. Bye bye. Join me in the free workshop Weight versus Pressure. Where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.